Hi, I'm Dr. Aisha Abdul and I'm a lecturer in cardiovascular pharmacology at Queen Mary University of London. We are delighted to continue our interview series today with Professor Gareth Fitzgerald. Gareth is a professor of medicine and pharmacology, the McNeil um, Professor in Translational Medicine and Therapeutics at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, where he directs the Institute for Translational Medicine and Therapeutics. Gareth will be a keynote speaker at the 19th um, World Congress of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology this July in Glasgow. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure, Aisha. I'm actually very intrigued by the title of your opening lecture, um, The Grey Matter of Sand and Sky, um, Dimensions of a Discipline for the 21st Century. Please, would you be able to tell us a little bit more on what you will be speaking at WCP 2023? So I, uh, I borrowed the, the line of a sand and sky from uh, Seamus Heaney, whom I was privileged to, to know, the great poet who lived by the beach in Dublin on Sandy Mount Strand. And many days, as you look at the vast expanse of Dublin Bay in the cloudy weather that we're used to, uh, sand and sky seem to merge. And I thought that was a nice metaphor for our discipline, which is uh, a little fuzzy around the edges and it intrudes into the space of other disciplines. So we have uh, pharmacogenomics and immunopharmacology and chronopharmacology. We, we stretch our tentacles into many other disciplines and infect them with pharmacology. So uh, I thought that might be a nice uh, place to start. And of course, uh, while that's a great strength of our discipline, it's also sometimes a little hazard as we have uh, had some problems with branding and uh, we've used terms like materia medica, translational science, translational therapeutics, experimental medicine. So we've flown under many different flags, but uh, at the essence of it all is an understanding or an attempt to understand how therapeutic entities actually work ultimately in ourselves. And have you have you always been um, interested in cyclooxygenase and pos prostaglandin? Well, I uh, I sort of fell into that business a long, long time ago. So um, the thing that's always fascinated me about uh, prostaglandins and related lipids is that they have uh, a myriad of often contrasting effects, and uh, they act across many different domains of biological function. Uh, and uh, obviously they have their own challenges. They're formed in very uh, small amounts and yet they're biologically very potent. They're evanescent. So there are uh, intriguing challenges in terms of actually being able to capture them uh, and to uh, quantitate them in biological fluids. But um, uh, what is sort of interesting in the current era is how uh, relatively little has emerged in terms of human genetics from this pathway. And yet so many drugs that we use so commonly actually have emerged from this pathway. And we're inclined now for very understandable reasons to be driven by human genetics in terms of our identification of novel targets for drugs. But uh, in that respect, uh, the eicosanoid system uh, to put it more broadly, is uh, is is not without uh, examples of of genetics pointing to its importance, but uh, in many respects, um, it's sort of a little underwhelming compared to what we would have anticipated. Thank you. And are there any other sessions that you are looking forward to at WCP twenty twenty three? Well, I think what, what what the organizers have done such a wonderful job with is, you know, the, the on the one hand, the vast diversity of uh, topicality and on the other to attract so many uh, impressive scientists to talk about their work. Um, you know, I, I am looking forward, as always, to hearing Greg Winter, Winter and uh, Brian Kabilka, who 
you know, obviously have been recognized in other fora for the excellence of their science, but also many other contributions. Uh, I'm particularly interested in Ed Bulmore and his work on imaging and uh, inflammation and depression. I'm interested in many of the contributions around GPCRs. They've been around for a long time in pharmacology, but everything from uh, structure function through the biochemistry and through novel approaches to engaging them with therapeutics uh, are highlighted in this uh, in this program. So uh, I'm really looking forward to being there for the full week and uh, to attending so many uh, uh, interesting talks and particularly, uh, you know, the nice thing uh, about going into a bookstore as opposed to having Amazon telling you what you'd really like to read is you come across unexpected things by authors you've never heard of. Okay. And I'm looking forward to going to those sessions where particularly emerging investigators whom I may not have heard of will, I'm sure, impress me uh, with the talent of their science. I'm glad you mentioned emerging investigators. So the early career pharmacologists are really the future of pharmacology. Have you got any advice for um, students, ECRs, emerging investigators on how they can make the most um, of, um, of WCP 2023? Well, I think I think most emerging investigators will probably have digested the most important uh, the, the most important lesson in, in this business, and that is be curious and to pursue the things that excite you. Uh, and not to be afraid to ask the very big question. Uh, don't don't be put off by the fact that other players may have made contributions in a particular area. If you think it's important, that's what you should work on. And uh, again, I think um, the emerging investigators uh, 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 can come to this meeting and 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 take many things away from it. Obvious, the obvious one is you know being inspired by the science that's being done by their peers, as well as by those of us a little further down the age chain. Uh, but the other part of it that is extremely important is making personal uh, connections. Uh, you know, one of the great uh, uh, features of our business is we meet lots of like-minded people from all over the world, from all sorts of backgrounds, and you forge friendships uh, which translate into your ultimate global reach, not just uh, work-wise, but also socially. And I think, you know, a huge lesson in science is that you learn very early on that all people are pretty much the same. It doesn't matter what color they are or where they come from. Uh, most of us are, you know, representative of, of uh, human biology from its best to its worst. And and it, it rapidly sort of... Uh, um, puts away the sort of uh, little nationhood that many people are afflicted by. Thank you so much for speaking to me today, um, Gareth. It's been a great pleasure. I look forward to your talk as well as meeting you in person at WCP. And I look forward to meeting you, Asha. Very nice to talk with you. Bye bye. If you have not yet registered for the meeting, please check our website for detail on the scientific program as well as registration. We have some really exciting sessions and activities for everyone, especially ECRs. Um, this includes the career zone and short talks, um, coffee with an expert, um, boot camp sessions and many social activities. We're also inviting applications for volunteers to support us at WCP 2023. There are actually multiple roles available. So for more information and on the application process, um, please visit our website. We look forward to uh, meeting you all um, in a couple of weeks time. Thank you.